the wooden tavern he bodied I, I think you've chosen the smallest stories in the world the today. It's the top. It's the get top. out your magnifying glass. But yeah, actually, this go, is right. potentially a really big story. So we're not quite sure why it gets such small coverage. Um, if we all remember the Malaysian Airlines being brought down over Ukraine, mm. this is a very similar um, sentiment. This is about saying that British passenger airliners are still continuing to fly over airspace um, that might actually run the risk of Russian missiles that are um, being aimed at Syria. They might actually hit uh, British Airways and Virgin haven't ruled out flying in the area. That sounds like a really big story to me. Mm. I, su I suspect they're flying all the time over dangerous areas and the kind and of... And we don't know about it. No, there's a lot of cross fingers, a lot of agreements. You go high enough, you hope you're not going to get hit, but you can. Mm. And it is, it's just... Uh, but actually, when the Ukrainian we, um, situation was really at its full pelt, British Airways did deliberately yeah, some reroute did, some their didn't. flights. Yep. So mm -hmm. they, they must be making these mm -hmm. adjustments on a daily oh, basis. Sure. But I'm intrigued that they haven't done it over here. Well, the yeah. last thing is, the, the last thing they will want to do is lose a plane and passengers. Yeah, really. absolutely. Uh, lots more still to come, mm -hmm. including why a swan <laughs> came in from the cold and why it's uh, important for all of us this winter. Back in just a moment. Flights near Syria face crossfire fears. This is inside the Times. Yeah, so this is a really intriguing story, particularly for anybody who flies, because um, we all remember the dreadful tragedy of the Malaysian Airlines mm. flying over Ukraine gets um, bombed out of the sky. We're not quite sure, you know, who's responsible for that. But at the moment, there is a, a theory that with a lot of flights, particularly going over Iran and Iraq, going to India, going to Asia, they could be um, running the risk of being hit by some stray Russian missile. And there doesn't seem to be this stories covered in other papers as well. There doesn't seem to be that much attention at the moment in some of the airlines, British Airways and Virgin, saying, well, we haven't actually made a decision yet whether we are going to continue flying over those regions or not. Mm -hmm. Which they did. Now, they, British Airways did make that decision during the Ukraine yeah. crisis. They actually diverted. Yes. Um, so one would hope that they're actually going to do the same here.